All right, my friends, if you remember a while back, I posted a video of probably my most favorite catch of my life, a 400 pound arapaima from Guyana. If you don't remember that, I'll give you a refresher now, just some insane footage of an awesome fish. Got him, I got him, oh, oh yeah. my gosh. Oh my gosh, I got one. I'm sure I have you. Nope, I got away from you. Escalated very quickly. Oh, he's going to that tree, I bet. Oh no! Oh no. Oh my gosh! We gotta go up there. Oh, he's gone. It'll be a miracle if we can catch him. I like miracles. There, there, there. Oh my gosh, dude. He's gonna jump again. Don't do it. Just took a breath. Oh, oh. Oh, there, okay. Yeah, I got him. Let him go. And he's in stuff. Oh my gosh, it's so big. <laughs> I got it, dude. I got it. Give him. You gotta get in here with me, man. In the water? How's it look? Enormous. Uh, I don't know. Like a dinosaur like, mixed with a whale? That? Can you guys lift him higher? <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. Holy shnikes. Oh, I can't even do it. So like I said, probably the favorite fish of my life. Just adrenaline rush, just looking over that footage makes me so stoked. But I did something that I think is pretty awesome. I got a hold of a taxidermy in South America named Amazonia taxidermia. And that guy made a replica of that fish. It's not the entire fish because the entire fish would have been nine and a half feet long. It's just the head. But in this box, I have the replica of the head of a 400 pound arapaima. This thing survived two plane rides and United baggage carriers, which were not nice to it. It got beat up a little bit. I opened the box enough to figure out that it is still intact. And I spent literally probably an hour and a half getting it to the point where I can take it out of the box. It was wrapped up in there so tight had all kinds of nuts and bolts and screws into it but here it is ready to be taken out of the box for the first time i got my dad here to help me take it out and we're just going to check out this replica i'm super excited you can kind of see right here get an idea of what it looks like i ripped that open in the airport just to make sure the thing was still alive alive is going to be so to speak <laughs> intact intact but we're going to open it up now and take it out thank you guys for watching so like I said, I got it to the point where we can somehow, That's somewhat take unbelievable. it, take that it out of the box. To me. And you can see it got banged up right here a little bit and on the fins. Would you use a black magic marker even now just to see what that does? Yeah, but you can see the teeth yeah. right here. The, oh, no, oh, the thing's so heavy. Oh, that is so oh, my word. Yeah, there we go. Can you take it? Geeky ads. Isn't it super heavy? Yeah, I don't know how you're gonna mount it. I don't either. Oh, that's cool. Let's Man. put it on the table or something. Is that you think it's 40 pounds? Oh no. It's just so awkward and delicate feeling. Yes. That is just. Incredible. The fun. eyes right here is so crazy. So what this is, it's not actually the actual fish, it's a mold. At some point in the past, the 400 pound arapaima died and this taxidermist made a literal mold of its head and he painted it to match as close as he possibly could to my fish. So my fish is still swimming, hopefully, 
This is just as close as an artist can possibly make to the fish that I caught. And like I said, he's got these, these teeth right here. He even did these teeth, which is just crazy. That is so cool. And the inside of the mouth has an insane amount of detail as well. The eyes are just so crazy. You see how deep set they are too. When they open their mouth, their eyes go back in their head just oh, for like protection, that. protection probably. Yeah. yeah. I have no idea how we're gonna get this thing on the wall. Here's another clip from the battle with the fish and in this jump, you can see where the fish and the mount look the most alike. That is the coolest fish mount that I've ever got by a long shot, and I've got five or six fish mounts. That is just crazy. And you can see this one was a male. You can see the red scales kind of start right by the fins there. Only the males have those bright red scales like that. And you see the back, back of his head is very green and very dark. The males are much darker. This one we caught was a male. If this was a female, it'd be more brown or a lighter green. I can't believe is that you got that fish in after you got it wrapped up in a log. Yeah, like six logs. I don't know if that was probably more luck than skill, but we got it in. Yeah, that's incredible. So cool. Okay. All right, my friends, thank you guys for watching this one. You know I appreciate it. All the credit for this crazy piece of art goes to my buddy Herman from Amazonia Taxidermia. If you wanna check out more of his work, I'll leave the link below. That is just insane. The amount of hours that goes into something like that is just crazy to think about. And that's just his head. <laughs> Let me know if y'all wanna see some more taxidermy-like stuff. I got a, a bunch of mounts in my house, maybe like some sort of a taxidermy tour would be cool. Thank you guys for watching and thank you, Dad, for the help. My pleasure, it's great fun. Oh, look at that fish, guys. Fish in a thousand lifetimes for me. Can't believe that happened. Oh my gosh. You got her? It was landed in like 23 minutes. Is it going? Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's gone. Whoa. Oh, I feel her tail gone. Gone. Bye. Look. There she goes. Last breath. She's gone.